Hey sports card fans, welcome back to Card Yard, welcome back to the channel for another video of 2023 Series 2. In this video I'm going to open 19 of these Meyer Purple, these Meyer Blister Packs that contain one exclusive Purple Parallel. Again, I got these at the Meyer sale, buy one get one half off, that's the only way I would buy them. They're kind of overpriced without that. And unfortunately, my suspicions are that these have been searched, which was another downside because they've been sitting around the stores for months. But let's get into it. Hopefully we'll get lucky. I know that some of them are searched because some of them are half opened already that I didn't even notice when I bought them. I was kind of in a hurry on the day when I bought them. These blister packs don't open very well. I tend to tear, I tend to cut them open like I just did. And then you can get under here and rip them. So we do have a rookie on the first purple. So each one of these blisters has one loose purple parallel in them. Pineda. So not one of the big rookies, but it is a rookie. So yeah, maybe not searched. Some of them definitely were searched, but they came from different stores. I'm going to actually open, I'm going to open all the purples first. This one was definitely searched as you can see. But I did cut most of them. I cut most of these blisters open off camera so we can get into them. This one's got, these purples are uh, very suspect to damage. You can see a couple white corners on that. When they, uh, <clears throat> I keep asking Tops to start putting the purples in the packs. There's Wilson Contreras, that's pretty decent for a veteran card. A little collectability to that as I throw it around. Amateur hour style. I'll super rip all the packs and we'll kind of go through that quickly. We got Reed Detmer's gold cup here. Not too bad. Yeah, people can uh, kind of wiggle the cards around inside the blister packs and see what's in there. And to try to figure out which packs have the good purples in them. And unfortunately, that's how they get searched. So that's a function of tops. Really should put these things in special something else so that they're you know maybe design a special blister or a blaster box that's got a pack of purples in it you know something like that something better they've been doing it this way for a long time and they don't seem to be willing to i'm sure that that to make a change like that in their production is probably more complicated than we think it is based on production schedules and J.D. Davis, definitely not the guy we're looking for on a purple. This is the only way you can get these purple parallels. And I know what you're saying, Paul, you keep mentioning parallels. What the heck are you talking about? Here's some examples from the last rip. Here's Adam Adovino, base card, and a rainbow foil of Adam Adovino. Same card, numbered, same card number. The back's the same, everything's the same, just a little bit different. Here's another one. I have, these are just the ones I happen to pull a base card and a parallel in the last rip. Jeff McNeil base card and a blue non-numbered parallel. We did pull one numbered parallel. I didn't pull this base card in the last rip. So the parallels get to be numbered and they go all the way down to a one of one parallel. In other words, there's only one of them. This is numbered out of 2023. It's number 1255 of 2023 up here in the corner that there's only 2023 of that card in a gold parallel so, continuing on with the rip as i bump the camera sorry about that this is definitely not the guy we're looking for ryan tapera these do appear like they were searched i don't know why i would expect anything different considering how long they've been sitting around Cody Morris, yeah, sometimes when I see him, there's a guy down in Chicago that searches these, and I know he does, I know they're searched, because the guy takes the, and he bends the corner of the box, pack back like that, next time I see that, I'm going to take a photo of it and send it to Tops. try to maybe get some action on what they're doing there. Tony Kemp. Yeah, these are terrible purples. 
I got about four rips of these. I don't know. They're all going to be this terrible. Maybe I won't rip them on camera. But there's a good lesson in this. These need to be fresh off the restock for you to buy them. If they're not fresh, man, don't buy them. And I, as I mentioned, they were on sale when I bought them, so it kind of made it... That's a pretty cool card, but it's J.P. Crawford. Oakland A's team card? Yeah, that's, you know, not what you're looking for. We're looking for these guys in purple. Corbin, Walker, Josh Young, any of the other good rookies. Otani. Brandon Nimmo. <laughs> Just all veterans and team cards and, yeah, pretty terrible. Anyway, there'll be some good cards in the packs. See what we find. I'm going to super rip them, so it'll go pretty fast. Diamondbacks celebrating. Guess there'll be a lot of those cards next year. We've got the Jesus Lizard here. Hey, Zeus. I do have a box on the floor. I'm throwing these in. It's not like I'm just throwing them on the floor. Ahmed Rosario, pretty good player. Not a lot of collectability to that card. Collectors are pretty persnickety. Tyro Estrada, that's the last one. That's about the worst batch of purples you'll ever see. These were definitely searched. But let's get into the rip. Do like five five packs at a time here. There's a stars of MLB on the back of every pack. We do have a Shohei on the first one. The Grom. Yeah, they kind of use these uh, stars of MLB as like a protector. There's a Corbin. It's probably the best one of those you can pull. He was the uh, unanimous... Rookie of the Year in the National League. Gunner was in Series 1. That's why you're not going to see him in here. At least I think he was in Series 1. His rookie card's in Series 1. I don't know if his Stars of MLB card was in Series 1. Kind of go through these quickly. They do smell amazing. It's just fresh ink everywhere. Okay, we do have a nice retail or a new blue shimmer coming up here. Uh, unfortunately, it's the Padres. It's not... There's a little collectability to that. It's pretty cool. Soto and Machado. It's a checklist card. It's out of $9.99, but I, these blue shimmers do look really, really cool. They're very uh, shiny. Very shiny. Bellinger, Shohei. Going every which way here. There's a Vientos rookie. I'm not even going to pull those out. There's a Shohei. I will be sleeving all the Shoheis. It's come to that point. I think you probably should sleeve all your Shoheis at this point. Jimenez for Venezuela. Venezuela is like the one country in South America that's probably baseball in front of soccer. There's just so many major leaguers from Venezuela. This guy's a sleepy little uh, rookie. Kerry Carpenter did pretty well last year for the Tigers. Of course, nobody saw it because he's on the Tigers. And uh, Torkelson had a pretty decent year for the Tigers, too. There's another Jordan Walker. I'm going to be putting the base cards together. There's a Chrome Yoshida. That's pretty nice. Didn't pull a base Yoshida last rip or, or this rip so far. I'm just trying to get them in, in order, so make it easier for me to sort them. There's an Otani for Japan. Yeah. He's real. I don't know if he's worth $700 million, though. That's pretty crazy. That's a crazy number for anybody. I mean, yeah, he's the best player, but that seems a little outrageous. All right, next packs. 
There's a nice Cal. I really should sleeve this card right here. I will do it later. All right. I got here five more packs. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed like a foregone conclusion that Otani was going to end up on the Dodgers, doesn't it? I mean, that was my prediction. It came to fruition. It only makes sense. Part of the story hasn't come out yet, but supposedly, you know, that he's got a dog. His dog, his dog's name has something to do with the Dodgers, apparently. Because he didn't, he and his agents didn't want to disclose the dog's name because they told everybody that the dog's name had something to do with where he wanted to sign. If it turns out that he wanted to sign with the Dodgers all along, I don't know what the Blue Jays might have something to say about that. All right. Two more stacks here. See something green sticking out in that next pile there. Those purples are really disappointing and the reason why I bought them, so I don't think I'll be getting any more of them. The Italian Nightmare is Italian. Italian-American, anyway. I don't think they play too much baseball in Italy. Another Yoshida Chrome. Well, it's a good card. Got it twice. It's interesting. Another Shohei. Can't really complain about that. I guess I want to see a, a Volpe rookie. Profar on the Netherlands. We talked about him in the last video. It's funny that that could be qualified as... I don't know if the ABC Islands are part of under Netherlands jurisdiction. Must have something to do with that. There's a blue coming up. And it's a Kiel Badu. Not really who we're looking for. Not too bad, but Newt Bar. Talk about all name team. He's pretty good. <clears throat> MJ. MJ again, Puerto Rico. He needs to kind of step it up a little bit. I think he's pretty talented, though. Royals are kind of... Boy, that's a lot of Shohei's. Could be worse. I mean, you could be pulling Joe Blow instead of Shohei. There's a nice Hank Aaron card. Stars of the game, legends of the game. It's a foil card. It looks really nice. Yeah, and so, if, so for those of you that don't actually collect and you're I've invited you to watch the video. You can see that cards are a lot different than they were when we were kids. There's not just base cards. When we were kids and we were opening cards, all it was was base cards. There weren't any inserts. There weren't any uh, parallels of cards. That's all it was. It was the same cards over and over again. There's kind of a nice uh, Royals card with Bobby. It's Sal. And Sal again. All right, last uh, six packs here. Thanks for watching the video. Try to make the videos short and sweet so it doesn't bore you to death. Like 10 to 15 minutes. 15 is like the longest we want to be going. I'm at 14 minutes right now. So I'll try to breeze through these last ones. It's just more, kind of more base cards. Not sure how many of these I'm going to open on camera. I'm pretty confident all the purples are going to be searched. Which... You know, something to mention to uh, to the Tops company that people can do that, and they do do it, and it's pretty lousy. There's a torque, future stars. Ended up with 30 home runs. His rookie cards are in 2022. There's a Yoshida rookie card. <clears throat> 
I mean, he's like 30 years old, but man, he's good. Here's Ruiz. Brewers traded him to the A's, and then he led the league in steals, I think. These cards are really, really awesome. All Aces cards. Little insert set of pitchers. Everybody likes those cards. The rounded corners like playing cards. Pretty cool. They're kind of glossy. Here's an insert we haven't seen yet. Favorite Sons from Texas, Clayton Kershaw. There's probably like 25 of those. I'm not exactly sure. They're kind of hard to pull. You can see that's the first one we've pulled. <clears throat> Harder to pull than like the Legends of the Games or these these uh, World Baseball Classics are pretty easy to pull. Nice little insert set though to memorialize that World Baseball Classic. That was a pretty cool event. Not sure how often they have that. It's not annually. There's a Chrome Miggy. Here's another gold card that's out of 2023 again. The problem is it's Trevino. He did make the All-Star team in 2022, but, you know, it's not a super collectible card. A, a backup catcher or even a starting catcher, most of them. We'll take that one. There's a Corbin stats card. They say he's like the fastest guy in the majors. He's a power-packed little player. And another one. We're looking forward to seeing O'Neill Cruz come back next year. That's all I got for you in this video. Pretty disappointing with the purples, but thank you guys for watching. And if you hook me up with a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Talk to you guys later.